Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. In Pakistan, there are a lot of scholars, yeah, of various sects and various groups. But most often they discuss what is different within the Ummah, which leads to hate and division. And the biggest side effect of this is it turns the youth away from Islam because it makes it seem very inaccessible and very confusing. But a scholar by the name of Maulana Tariq Jamil has won the hearts of the youth and the non-practicing folk, which is a feat that many people have spent their entire lives trying to do. So I'm not a religious person, but if there is Islam or any other religious point of view that I don't understand, then I'll sit down and open their videos. With his emotional and genuine, inclusive and non-controversial lectures, which appeals to people of all groups and sects, his non-judgmental approach has attracted many people towards him. <laughs> from the likes of Bollywood stars, Lollywood stars. Yes, Lollywood is the Hollywood of Pakistan. But let's not get sidetracked here. To even the current Prime Minister of Pakistan. Here Malana Tariq Jamil was giving a lecture to the current Prime Minister and many news anchors that were present as well. All was going well till he made the following statement. I am sitting with my hands and I'm talking about the anchor. One of the big channels of the public has said that no one has to do it. I said that the channel is going to be finished from the channel. The channel can be finished, but the channel can't be finished. This is not just Pakistan, the whole world's media is going to be finished. And my God, 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 my God. The news guys went mad. It seemed that he touched a nerve. Uh, you know what, it wasn't just a nerve, I think it was the entire nervous system mate. Yes, the very same media that reported that Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of the UK was dead <coughs> while citing a fake BBC Twitter page as a source, these people got offended. Their egos took a hit and their mudslinging session started. And they demanded a full on apology from the Sheikh. Now let me bring this point in. It's sad that they don't see the impact that their scholar has had on the planet. I mean his videos, mashallah, clock millions of views. You got people of all different spectrums practicing, non-practicing, this and that sect. All sorts of people that are attracted to him. You know how much of an amazing feat that is in this day and age? In fact, it's this guy that's more known to the people than these random nobodies that sit in front of the Pakistani people spewing nonsense, frankly. But they couldn't look past their egos and they went full on on him. So, the people who are in the world are going to be in Ramzan. You are going to be in the world. You are going to be in the world. You are going to be in the world. You are going to be in the لوگوں کو آپس میں ان کا دل نہ توڑے ہیں دل توڑے گے تو کون آپ کی بات سنے گا لیکن میں خطا سے پاک نہیں ہوں وہ ٹھیک ہے The Sheikh did try to clarify himself by saying جو پوری قوم بھی جھوٹی آپ نے کہہ دی اس پر کچھ کہنا چاہیں گے میں اس پر بھی معذرت کروں گا لیکن میں جب کوئی چیز کسرف سے ہوتی ہے تو اس کے لیے عموم کا لفظ بول دیا جاتا ہے but the scholar knew that there's no point fighting with these people because they'd already you know made up their mind so he apologized but if these news anchors were to apologize for their mistakes I don't think there's enough hours in the day for that it seems even the apology seemed to backfire on the media because people 
like actors were literally posting their praise by saying you know what our respect for this scholar has grown even more and their disdain for the media has grown also sakte aur jis channel ke mutalliq aapko shak hai malik sahab ke kaun sa channel do number nahi hai to phir mere paas aaye aur main aapko on air bataunga aur aapko uske malikon ka bataunga aapko anchors ka bhi bataunga and Mulan Tariq Jamil could have brought these facts up and he could have had a debate live on their own news channel but think about the harm it could have caused to the dawa because these news anchors and these media moguls they can take a hero and turn him into a villain and they can take a villain and turn him into a hero so I do rate him for taking the high road and not succumbing to these leeches that are just leeching over the fears of the Pakistani people. I'm not saying he's perfect. You got your differences, that's fair enough. But what I'm saying here is somebody that is reaching the people that let's face it. Many of us are unable to reach. He's reaching them. At least keep that in mind before you bring him on your show and try to ridicule him. Main chahta hu ki aap jaise jo log hain wo hamare sath khade ho logon ko samjhaye. Alright guys, hope you guys benefited. Let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.